Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the StockSwish.com, and guess what? There was a fabulous gap today in VMW. And you know what's really interesting is I rated this gap this morning. As soon as I saw it, I said this is the best gap today. And in fact, I even said NCOF. NCOF is a term that I've coined and phrased for the trading room for my traders, which means no chance of failure. It's an acronym. But guess what? Then when I was waiting and rated the gap and was waiting to trade, because I usually get up really early and rate stuff really early in the morning, I, I said to myself, wait a minute, I, I'm not going to say NCOF because it, it literally just collapsed all pre-market. But the fact is that my initial read on it was not only number one, that it was a great golden gap short, that it would have institutional selling, but number two, that it really was an NCOF. <laughs> so interesting. Next time I say that to myself, no matter if it's 6 a.m. or 8 a.m. or 9.05 or 9.29, I'm just going for it like immediately because this really was the one to do today. So as it turns out, I ended up deciding to do this later. I had already made money from the Yahoo earlier. I don't always trade later in the morning or the afternoon, but after I realized then this had a much bigger target in it, I decided to do a later trade. When you trade later on the day, meaning if you enter a trade after 10 a.m., then you really have to be in a higher time frame. What do I mean? I mean the 15 minute, which is here, or the five. It's, it's really, it's not a good idea to trade the one or two minute chart uh, late. And by late, I mean really any time after 10, 15, 10, 30, particularly even 11 o'clock. Now, let's look at it. Okay, first of all, the stock gap down. Here's the close in the night before at 68.76, and then in the morning, this opened at 59.09. That's amazing, amazing. So this thing really got pummeled today. The low of the day in this ended up, it broke 53. This is, this is incredible. The, the, this stock actually almost got down to 52. It's, it's not going to now, it's three o'clock in the afternoon, but if you look at the high of the day from the low of the day in this stock, it had an absolutely incredible, incredible, incredible move. It was $7 plus on the day. And actually, is that the biggest bar here of this? Well, let's just look. It's pretty, pretty, pretty up there. I mean, this, this bar today actually qualifies as something that is really up there for largeness <laughs> on the daily chart of the actual move on this stock. So that can happen. Why? Quality of the gap. Quality of the gap and the gap rated very high today, which I knew, and that's why it was one of the top watches this morning. And I thought 56, 55, 55, 55. I really felt very confident about 56 and 55. It went to 52.76, which is amazing. So let's just go over the initial entry here in the morning. If you did this aggressively out of the gate, it actually set up right away. And you could have even done it again and again. I mean, there are so many different entries in this in the morning if you wanted to take it. You may have piecemealed out of it, though, because even from the original entry in here, it went almost $2 plunging, okay, into 10 o'clock. And there you have it. And this was 100% on its own. This had nothing to do with the market today whatsoever. Like many good gaps that I train, you just do the gap. If the gap rates 20 points or more per the 26-point rating system, then, then you do it. And it doesn't matter what the market does. But let me show you here what I did in the afternoon on this VMW. So this is all the morning. Look, this is crazy. Let's count the bars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Of the 14 bars, this is a five-minute chart, mind you. This is not a one-minute. 14 bars on the five-minute chart for one solid hour and five minutes. There's exactly 10 minutes. This You can't even barely see the green. There's actually two green bars of barely a smidgen within one hour and five minutes of trading of this stock. This, that's that's amazing. So this is this is an institutional sell-off. I talked about this in the webinar this week. The high in here is $59.90. It held $60. And the low in here is $56.18. The stock dropped almost $4 in the first hour of the day. Do you see that? This, this is 80% of the move. This is more than 50% of the move. It happened into the open, into the first half an hour, into the hour. This is an institutional sell-off. Now, it did continue all day, but this is why... Learning my method is so poignant because if you are looking at a scanner and you want to take this trade late, you're, you're going to miss all of this. You got to be on the lookout for it in the pre-market to know to get it. And how are you going to know it's good? How are you going to know this is a short, not a long? Because this could have very well been a long. I mean, the stock actually gapped down almost $10 overnight. So this could have been bought. 
It wasn't, but I'm just saying you wouldn't have known that if you didn't know my rating system or I've taken the Golden Gap class. That's how you know. That's how you know to do it, to short it, and you could have even shorted it aggressively. Anyways, here's the stock open rallying, drops, breaks, falls again. Here's the trade I did late. Late, 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 late. Right in here, I shorted it, stopped right over the cushion. Okay. So a nice, nice, nice tight entry is what I ended up doing with this. Uh, again, this is later in the day. Once I realized that it had the potential to go, which it could have actually gone to 50. To be honest with you, I actually thought that this might even go to $50. But then what happened was it had a reversal sign. It was just up way too much. It had too big of a move. It was dropping, dropping, dropping. The day was getting on and I took it. But I will tell you that the entry on the five, which again, you have to trade the five minute if it's later in the day. Okay, time of the day here is 11.35. Entry is right in here on the break. I put the stop over 35. So this was a very nice trade considering the fact that this is a $55, $60 stock. I ended up taking it 95 by 35, it's 40 cents. 40 cents in a stock like this for an entry is amazing. And then it literally fell off a planet. So you could have done a lot of different things with this today, but even a late entry in this here where I took it, which was right a little bit underneath 56, dropped $3. And where are we got out in here? It doesn't even matter. So this was a beautiful one. And, and what I just laughed to myself because I saw this in the morning and immediately thought NCOF. And then, then when it just kept going, 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 I thought, uh, and I pulled myself back thinking that it would take a while to set up and, and, and that it would, it would actually have to sh situate itself. This was so broken, so weak, so incredible that it fell off a planet immediately into the open. So this was a great one here for everybody that was in the live trading room today, made the call. And if you did it on your own in the afternoon, you could have done it a hundred times too. This was a wonderful golden gap today. Again, the criteria is in the 26 point rating system. It has to rate 20 points or more. And I teach the six entries that I take in the class. If you're interested in the golden gap course, it is this weekend, October 24th and 25th. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for more information. Have a great day, everyone.